Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where we talk about the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course, we just talk about streetwear in general. In today's video, we've got a lookbook to cover, one that we have been waiting for for a while, and I'm very keen to dive into it and see what pieces are going to be releasing in this season. Which lookbook am I talking about? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Palace Skateboards' Spring 2021 collection. It's finally here, guys. Now that we have hit February, we are getting the first season from Palace Skateboards, which is their Spring 2021 collection. And it is starting to drop this Friday, the 12th of February. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see what is releasing in the weekly drops that Palace will be doing. But in today's video, we're going to be covering the lookbook, the set of images of models wearing the highlights of the season. It doesn't showcase every item that is releasing in the season, but it's generally the most popular items or the items that most people will enjoy that get showcased in the lookbook. But sometimes there are hidden gems that do miss the lookbook, but we'll cover everything that is releasing in the weekly drop list videos. And in today's video, we'll just cover what's in the lookbook. We'll do that by heading over to Palace's page and cover the lookbook there. And as always, that'll be linked in the description section below if any of you guys want to check it out. But let's head on over there now and start having a look at what we are getting in Palace's Spring 2021 season. Now quickly, before diving into all the images, let's have a look at some release details. So as I mentioned, it's releasing very, very soon. We have it launching on Friday, the February the 12th, online only in the UK as they have a big coronavirus surge, so it's only online. 11 a.m. GMT time, like it always is. Uh, they've got a new European site coming up as I know that Brexit has caused some issues like there's going to be higher import taxes and stuff so there's a new website launching for uh, everyone in the European countries uh, and it'll be dropping 12 p.m. CET time on that website in store and online in the US on the US store and of course on the online store in Japan and the WeChat store on China. So they're dropping it everywhere, <laughs> everywhere but Australia. I'm going to have to cop it off the uh, UK store and probably pay some big, uh, you know, taxes and stuff like that. But maybe this season won't have something that'll really appeal to me. So maybe I won't pick up anything from this season. We're just going to have to find out by going through this lookbook. So we have 22 images, as you can see down here. We're on the first lot here. What I'm going to be looking for from Palace this season is just some ni nice outwear hoodies or sweaters. That's where I really come to for Palace. I don't usually gravitate towards their tees and accessories, but hey, who knows? Maybe there'll be something this season that really speaks to me. Let's kick it off by start talking about these first two images that we see here. It looks like we're getting a Palace beanie with a lightning bolt graphic on it. Would love to see this graphic on maybe a crew neck or a hoodie. Not really feeling it too much on the beanie. Looks like we're getting some uh, ski masks with Palace, which can be really, really cool. I'd love to see it as a standalone piece. It looks sick in the very bright orange jacket here. Neither of them are really speaking to me too much, but you know, we'll just keep going to see what we've got. We've got a desert camo zip up Gore-Tex jacket. Not really my style, but I know that this is very much a thing Palace does every season, releasing these really high quality Gore-Tex jackets. I, again, just don't really gravitate towards Gore-Tex jackets or, you know, uh, utilitarian tech wear or puffers, that kind of stuff. It's just not for me, so that's going to be a miss from me. We've got a patchwork, I think it's button-up? No, polo. It's a polo. You can see the buttons and the collar. It's alright. I like the graphic on the back of it. I'm hoping that features on some different pieces as well. Uh, it looks like we've got more palace jackets being showcased to us here. Nothing really speaking to me straight away. We've got a denim vest. I thought it was a jacket, but those uh, sleeves aren't attached. We've got a denim vest with Alice Cooper on it. So we've got a Palace x Alice Cooper collaboration. Um, I think that works very well aesthetically. I When I envision rock lovers, they're always wearing denim vests with a bunch of patchwork on them and some kind of huge graphic on the back. So I think Palace has done really well to showcase that first piece 
because I'm assuming there's going to be other pieces in that collaboration, by showcasing the denim jacket to us, uh, sorry, denim vest to us. It's not going to be for me, but I can definitely some see some people getting around that. Next, we've got a button-up tee with some all-over uh, print on it with what looks like, I think it's a bunch of skaters, I think. Hard to tell. Uh, palace cap up here. Looks all right. We've got, I think that's a hoodie. A hoodie with a very bushy looking Palace Triferg logo. I like this. This is nice. We've got a Palace Duck button up tee here. Not too bad. Oh no, it's a pigeon, sorry. We've got pigeons everywhere. It's a pigeon button up tee. The button up tee, the cap, the cap's all right. I don't mind the cap. And I like that the pigeon graphic, the head is the Palace P. That, I, I gotta give him props for that. I, that that's a smart design there. But this hoodie over here with the bush triferg, okay, I'm interested, I'm interested. I'd like to see this, if it's a, it looks like a hoodie, it, I could be bamboozled and on the front it could turn out to be a jacket, but it looks like a hoodie. We'll keep moving on, got another crew neck here, a palace 2021 cap with all over patches, a quilted jacket, not too bad, the more, uh, a quarter, no, half, no, it's the bad two-thirds zip isn't it? it doesn't come halfway down but it has palace on the front palace on the back with a triangle there we've got a palace coaches jacket that is um taking a spin on gatorade's iconic logo that's a sick piece that is an awesome piece that would be a piece that i'm interested in but we can't skip over this beanie here with the multiple different pockets on it that's cool as well these two pieces here I'm liking those. Those are probably my favorite pieces that I've seen in this lookbook so far. We'll keep going though. We've got a bunch of more images to go through. We've got a couple tees. Not really doing too much for me. A denim tee. Oh, button up tee. Eh, it's all right. That's nice. Okay, so we've got a very typical palace P cap. That's not really something to highlight here, but we've got this really nice palace iconic curvy font logo right here it looks like it's an embroidered felt piece on top of the hoodie i love the colors of the white one the white one is sick it'll definitely come in a different variety of different colors but that is an awesome hoodie i really like the graphic on that one it's clean it's simple easy to wear that is a dope hoodie we've got a, another gore-tex jacket the pink one this time around i think it is the same jacket as before that we saw in the desert camo it's just in pink now but not really doing it for me. Next, we've got a Palace Triferg, what looks like crew neck sweater with uh, chain stitch embroidery um, Alice logos done on the back. I like this. I'm hoping it comes in a couple different colors because I don't know how I feel about picking it up in a yellow, but uh, hopefully we get some nicer colors of that in the season as well. We've got a knit sweater with the palace logo and a bunch of greek inspired graphics on them i actually kind of like this this is kind of steezy i like the placement of the graphics i like how the graphics are done in like a uh like a permanent marker or um very inky pen style i think that's really cool i like that we've got a another jacket uh, what looks like a corduroy button up they're all right We've got the full desert tracksuit as well. Um, eh, it's all right, not doing too much for me. We've, this is really cool. We've got what looks like a palace hoodie patchwork, and then it's got a Sherpa hood and Sherpa lettering on the front of it. That is really cool. I like that. That's I, I would love to see the other colors of it. Uh, I don't know when it will drop, but that is sick. I actually really like that hoodie. I like the use of different materials and different colors on the actual hoodie itself. Very interesting. That's a good piece. We've got... Oh, I like that graphic. We've got... I don't even know what that graphic is. A, a woman wearing a palace hoodie with heels on. Uh, on some pants. We've got another Adidas collaboration. There we go. We can see the Adidas logo here and the three stripes down the shoulders. So it looks like they might be doing a soccer inspired collaboration this season. They did a tracksuit uh, collaboration last season. So good to see that Palace is coming back with them. It looks like we might be getting some uh, sneakers this season as well. Because, you know, we're really showing off this. So, um, yeah. Might be getting some Palace Adidas sneakers this season as well. 
The lightning graphic has returned awesome on a hoodie. The grey colour with the red and white lightning, it's okay. Kind of hoping that there is a black one with green lightning on it as well. We'll have to see when that drops in this season. Uh, we've got that same female graphic again being brought back for a cap. We've got a hoodie with some very, very big pockets on it. Getting towards the end of the lookbook, we have a Panasonic. So it's Palace playing a, a, you know, a little bit of homage to Panasonic. Uh, in the form of a button-up tee. I kind of would have liked this in more of a denim jacket, but they've gone with a double-pocketed uh, denim button-up. It's all right. Would have liked it in a jacket, though. We've got just a plaid shirt with a fish on the back of it. Just palace being whack as normal. Uh, we've got a, another knit. We've got another knit. We've got a palace um a nylon jacket and matching nylon shorts and last but not least we have a quilted palace london what looks like i would say bomber jacket is probably the best way to put it a, qu a quilted bomber jacket it's kind of a steezy piece i hope it comes in some other colors okay well that is it that is all the photos of everything uh in the spring 2021 lookbook i gotta say there weren't any pieces that instantly like caught like wowed me like last season and the last couple seasons in 2020 but there are a couple low-key pieces here that i think are all right i liked the palace uh curvy hoodie that was a couple photos back yeah this one here this one here being um styled by lucian yeah i like this hoodie i like uh this triferg uh crew neck hopefully it comes in a couple other colors uh this knit isn't too bad as well not a bad piece there We've got uh, this patchwork hoodie as well. That's probably my favorite. Unfortunately, no jackets or anything this season that are really speaking to me. The jackets are very hit or miss for me anyway, but yeah, I gotta say there are some pieces here that I wouldn't mind picking up this season. It looks all right. Hopefully there are more pieces that weren't showcased in the lookbook that'll really speak to me. We'll just have to see when they get around to dropping them in the weekly drops, guys. But I wanna hear from you. Were there any pieces that you liked that were showcased in this lookbook? Oh. This hoodie was also really good as well. Anything that you're looking to pick up from this season or do you think their spring 2021 season is a little bit of a sleeper season for you? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. And that's it guys. That is all the images of the spring 2021 Alice Skateboards lookbook. I gotta say, it's there were no jackets that really spoke to me straight away. There are some cool crew neck sweaters, some cool hoodies, but yeah, no uh, outwear that really blew me away, mainly because none of it was really my aesthetic. That's totally fine. I feel like if you look, if you're a fan of Gore-Tex jackets, if you're a fan of nylon based jackets and you love just that overall like mountain gear style, you'll definitely like that lookbook because it'll have a lot of pieces there for you. But for me, I don't own a single one of those jackets. I don't like the style of those jackets, so it wasn't for me. But hey, look, some of those hoodies, some of those crew neck sweaters, they weren't too bad. I wouldn't mind maybe picking up one or two of them. We're just going to have to see how much they retail for and if it's still easy or not to pick it up with the uh, yeah, whole Brexit situation and the added uh, import taxes and stuff might really bump the price up you know but we'll have to see uh hopefully once the full range gets released i can have a look at all the other colors and stuff like that and potentially find some pieces that weren't showcased in the lookbook that'll be you know like hidden gems from this season we'll just have to wait and see and it is dropping this friday guys so get ready for week one of palace's spring 2021 collection uh let me know though guys are you excited for this season or was that lookbook putting you to sleep <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you completely turned off palace now i want to know let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the lookbook and on your thoughts on this season down in that comment section below if you guys want me to keep covering all the upcoming palace releases don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in the comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel as we're also trying to hit a new subscriber milestone on the channel we're trying to hit 2,840 subscribers before the end of February. Hopefully, with your continuous support, guys, we can reach that milestone before the end of February. But I think that's everything to be said about the Spring 2021 lookbook. It was okay. 
there wasn't a lot there for me, but who knows? There might be some hidden gems that I really, really like once the full range is showcased to us. We'll just have to wait and see, guys. So, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video, until the next Palace video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.